What's going on you guys? Bobby O'Brien here. Today I got an awesome video for you. We're going to go over how you IT guys, IT professionals, IT sales professionals, engineers, guys that work in IT in the IT sector that work long hours behind the computer all day, everything that you need to know to lose your stubborn belly fat to drop weight month after month with your busy schedule because there's a lot of challenges that guys in IT face at work you know, in this sedentary lifestyle, whether they're watching networks all day, watching codes, etc., or just working long hours behind the computer in general, they really don't know how to find a routine that actually works for their sedentary, busy oriented lifestyle that actually feels like a lifestyle change. And it doesn't feel like this gigantic chore that they dread doing as soon as they get off work or even before they go to work. So we're going to find out how we can actually get that ultimate solution for you guys today. So what you're probably struggling with right now, you're probably super tired all the time, busy all the time. There's pretty much nothing holding you accountable right now except yourself and you have a hard time holding yourself accountable. Sedentary working long hours behind the computer like we mentioned, you have a hard time sticking with your diet because you see that as a gigantic chore too and you've tried counting calories, counting macros and all sorts of other restrictive diets that absolutely suck and the last thing that you want to do is get done with some sedentary long hours of work where you're sitting behind the computer with Zoom meetings, putting out fires or whatever it may be, and then you have to go and count your macros, count your calories, or even weigh your food. Imagine that, imagine weighing your food after a long day of work. There's some people doing that, insane. Or you have no time to work out. And when you do have time, which all of you do, you either don't know what to do, you have some idea, but you still can't do it or don't want to do it because you feel burnt out. And once again, you have no accountability or structure to apply a plan that works for you. You're committed to making a change though, because you're sick and tired of having a gut, having stubborn belly fat that you don't know how to get rid of, but you just don't know where to start, right? You don't know what to do. You've tried restrictive diets and programs in the past, like we've mentioned, but you can't stick to these programs, not only because it's unsustainable and it sucks so much, but every single time you try one of those restrictive dieting regimens, you have to worry about gaining all the weight back faster than how long it actually took to lose it. So we're gonna go over a solution to each one of these barriers. So once again, you can find the ultimate lifestyle change that you're looking for because I've held many men in IT do this exact same thing. So what on earth should you do, right? Top three barriers is lack of time, nutrition obviously, and then little to no accountability or structure that actually works for the busy and unique schedule that you guys have. So lack of time, all we have to do really in terms of getting the benefits that we want from exercising is to target each muscle group each week. And we can even do this with a very simplified push-pull leg split by just dedicating 45 minutes of our time each week. I am going to drop a video, I may have dropped it already, on why you absolutely have time to dedicate to your health even if you feel like you don't. And most of you guys, even if you're working, let's say a 70 hour work week, which most of you guys probably aren't, you have well north of 20 hours that you can dedicate to your health even after doing the math with family time and work. We all have that time, we just A, don't know what to do with that time, or B, we know when we have that time but we don't want to do anything even though we need to we're struggling holding ourselves accountable right but getting into it here if all we need is 45 minutes then we can absolutely make this work right i've made another video in the past talking about how you can exercise very efficiently even by just doing a 13 to 15 minute workout and still get the benefits that come with an elevation in your muscle mass muscular endurance etc all the benefits that do come from exercise by just working out for that long, 13 to 15 minutes. We do three 15 minute workouts, we're at 45 minutes, and we've accomplished what we needed to accomplish because the only thing we need to do if we are in a position where we want to lose weight, we want to lose our stubborn belly fat, want to lose our visceral fat, we just need to boost our muscle mass by targeting, targeting each muscle group each week. And we can do that with just 45 minutes a week. So if we calculate the amount of hours that we're working and just highlight the windows of time in each day, we could find all these pockets of time to work out. All these 15 minute pockets, lunch breaks, breaks in between meetings, if you're working from home, time before you actually start your workday, time after, there's plenty of time and that is not an excuse. 
right? And Dion didn't use an excuse either. He's an IT sales professional. He lost, it's cut off there, but he lost 20 pounds in six months. Let me go ahead and just pull that up really quick. Gosh, I knew that that was gonna happen. And I'm gonna keep it rolling like an absolute animal. So there we go, 20 pounds in six months completed 90% of his workouts five times a week. So he was doing five workouts a week, right? Five workouts a week and he completed 90% of them, north of 90% of them, boosting all of his muscle mass, right? Every layer of his body is adding more and more muscle mass so we can get that bigger boost in his metabolic rate and he still lost 20 pounds, 12 pounds being in his first month, right? And he was working long hours behind the computer like all of you guys and he had the exact same excuses and struggles that you guys are currently facing and dealing with right now but he still made it happen and he looks forward to his workouts every single morning which is something that a lot of you guys can't really say so that's why number one you shouldn't be making cardio the main component of your workout regimen anyway because you're not going to get that same metabolic boost you're not breaking down your muscle fibers and forcing them to regrow again right doing a little bit's okay but just making that the sheer component the only component of your exercise regimen not doing anything else doesn't really make sense right in terms of actually finding sustainability and this right here this anecdote just goes to show that you don't need to do that in order to see consistent and sustainable weight loss results like dion did so if you're a guy that's watching this right now who works in it and you don't know what to do you need to focus on weight training 100 percent and if you still feel like you're limited on time, then we already went over that. You can still find plenty of pockets of time just by looking at your schedule and just writing it down and finding all those pockets. Even if you just have 45 minutes a week, you can still make it work, which a lot of you guys have more than that. And if you have no idea what you should be doing, then you should absolutely contact a coach, maybe even one like myself. And if you're interested in having me customize a plan that is tailored to you y'all's busy schedules because I know exactly how to actually customize a plan to the schedule of the man that works in IT then I highly recommend that you click the first link on the top of the video description or on the very bottom of the video description to speak with me directly to see how I can help you do just that and if you're new here welcome my name is Bobby O'Brien and I help career driven men lose weight sustainably and lose their gut for good without having to count or restrict a single calorie at all whatsoever. I've helped men all around the world do this. Dion's from Canada here. I've helped men in the United States and all around the world as well. So let's go ahead and keep it rolling here. Now, nutrition is going to be by far the most important factor. You can have the best exercise regimen in the world. You can be working out well north of 45 minutes, but if you're not dialing this in, this means nothing. When it comes to dealing with temptations at work, that's another really big barrier that you guys face, especially guys that work from home. Right, and most of us do nowadays since COVID, but it's really, really tempting to grab some garbage from the pantry or somewhere in the house if it's in the house. So that's why the first thing you wanna do is to completely eliminate it and have those uncomfortable conversations and really draw that line in the sand because all change comes from a place of discomfort anyway. Jeff Bezos says it best, if you're not uncomfortable every single day, you're not growing. So if you guys have not had any uncomfortable conversations lately or have been very comfortable lately, then that's how you know you need to start feeling more uncomfortable and making more of those uncomfortable changes. And I would start with by having a few of those with your family, with your wife, with your kids even, if they're constantly flooding in all of this garbage food into your house and even into your work workspace, right? Because if you're working from home, that's the workplace, right? It's already difficult enough if you're at the office and coworkers order donuts. But then if you're families doing the exact same thing, people that you're always gonna be around, the ones you love, right? That's gonna be really, really hard. And as you, as a man of the house, you need to put your foot down and draw that line in the sand and say, look, I wanna make a change and I wanna have a very, very, very helpful and beneficial impact on the rest of you guys as well. Saying this to your son, your wife, or whatever it may be. But in order for us to do this, I need to cut out all processed sugars, carbohydrates, and seed oils that you guys are currently buying with my credit card, maybe, maybe not, or what the wife is buying 
with the credit card or debit card, whatever it may be. I need you to stop buying that and instead substitute that for X, food, plantains, berries, pears, other sweet foods that aren't going to put us in a position to gain weight or worsen our health in any way, shape or form. And you're probably gonna get some pushback. Maybe you won't, but most of the time you will. And as the father figure, right? As the authoritative leader in the household, which I hope you guys are, they will listen to y'all, especially when you're coming from a place of good intentions, right? You're not looking to make these intentions selfishly, maybe a little bit, right? But if you benefit yourself, if you get more and more food that's gonna come into the house and that's gonna benefit you and you eliminate any sort of possibility of anything that's gonna put you in a position to store body fat or lower your performance or lower your mood around your family, then everyone around you, including your family, is gonna benefit from that. And they may not see that now, but they'll see that later if you, make, if you have the difficult conversations that you need to have with your family right now if there's a bunch of garbage, trash food that is sitting in the pantry while you're watching this video. So the first thing you need to do is completely cut that out and start having some uncomfortable conversations now. Because if you look at my fridge right now here in this new place that I just moved into, you won't see any unhealthy food at all whatsoever. You're gonna see Bulgarian yogurt, you'll see asparagus, you'll see eggs, steak, etc. There is literally no opportunity that I give myself to cheat at all whatsoever. And when you do that, you force yourself to eat healthy. There's plenty of times I open my fridge and I'm like, shit, man, I just wish I had some, some ice cream in here or some cookies. I, I, I really like cookies, I don't know. There's some guys that have their own sweet, sweet food that they like, but everyone has their own, right? And mine's cookies. Anyway, there's plenty of times where I open the fridge or I'm looking around the pantry or you know, just looking for food in the kitchen. I'm like, man, you know, I would like a cookie right now. But guess what? It's not in here. And I'm not about to go and drive out of here, out of my way just to get a box of cookies or some Chips Ahoy garbage, right? One, because, I mean, I'd be a big hypocrite if I'm doing that with all the videos I'm putting out here. But then two, it doesn't make sense when I have all this healthy food in front of me that I just bought, right? That honestly may oxidize or go bad even faster. So you guys have to implement the exact same thing and it will work especially guys like ourselves, right? That are working long hours at our desk. It's really easy to start thinking of temptations. So the second thing is you don't know what you should be doing. And the last thing you want to do is to count or restrict calories or follow any other restrictive diet that doesn't work for you. Um, man, I spelled that wrong real bad. I was sorry if I rushed to that last part of the presentation. But anyway, a lot of you guys, really have no idea what you should be doing, right? And Steve, he really had no idea what he was, what he should be doing either. He was counting and restricting calories in the past. He was working with a coach in person and he didn't really like it so much because the meal plan that he gave him wasn't not, was not only very, not very comprehensive, but wasn't actionable. From what I heard, it was really just a piece of paper. There's some in-person sessions and that's it. So just some general recommendations, right? But as soon as we gave him something actionable that did not involve any counting or restricting of calories that addressed the root cause of weight gain, eating plenty of high quality animal foods, including red meat, he was able to see some amazing results just like this. It's a little bit dim, so I apologize about that, but just to read it for you guys, I meant to tell you, re-measured for my wedding tux and went down to almost three inches in waist jacket and size went down too. So he lost 30 pounds in two months. Steve is an IT professional and he lost all that weight right before his wedding. So not only was he able to do that with his very busy schedule, looking at networks, right? Watching networks for a very long period of time, but he was able to do that right before the big day, right before his wedding, that's huge. So absolutely insane. And here is his progress picture right here, right? He completely got a flat stomach. He lost all of his stubborn belly fat, right? And that's, that's the thing that a lot of men don't understand about actually losing belly fat, right? That's the, that's the fat that you can actually unlock first if you do it the right way. And one of the best ways you can do that 
is by getting into somewhat of a state of nutritional ketosis and increasing your fat intake. And people hear the word ketosis and they think I mean a carbohydrate notch of zero grams. No, Steve is now eating well, well north of 150 grams of carbohydrates per day, sometimes 200. And you can still be in that state of nutritional ketosis if you're very, very active. And Steve was a very active individual. He started with four workouts per week and now he's at five because he liked it so much. When you really double down on weight training, you get a big boost in your metabolic rate by targeting each muscle group each week in a way in which it works for your schedule and not you know, like a three hour treadmill war zone workout, right? You dial that in with a diet that is going to be very high in fat and put you in a state of nutritional ketosis, which just means from your diet itself, from your nutrition plan that you're actually following, you're getting into a state of ketosis where you're burning fat for fuel. Not only the dietary fat that you're eating in your diet, but then you end up burning the fat that is built up around your body. And in our stomach, we have a little bit of, a, of some belly fat, right? With what Steve had not too long ago, we have some visceral fat as well. And visceral fat is fat that is built up around the organs. And that is actually the body fat that the body will assimilate first as a priority when it's time to actually unlock those body fat stores. And the reason for this is because as our visceral fat level increases, so does our likelihood of mortality. And we always want to hit some state of homeostatic equilibrium, right? We want to be in a state of homeostasis in English. We want some balance with the body. That's just how we work physiologically, right? And subconsciously, we're always looking for that equi equilibrium, that homeostasis type balance. And in order for us to reach that balance, we need to lower our risk for mortality. So if we start making the right changes to our diet by increasing our di dietary fat intake, if it makes sense, find the right carbohydrate notch that works for us and just eating fully natural foods that are not gonna spike insulin for hours on end, then we will unlock the body fat stores that we need to unlock first as a priority. And that priority is visceral fat, which happens to hang around our stomach. And when we burn that off quickly and efficiently, we start to see results like this in a span of literally two months. These pictures are two months apart, right? And keep in mind, Steve was dealing with these same exact unideal circumstances as many of you other guys that also work in IT or work long hours behind the computer that feel like those unideal circumstances actually had more of a control over you than the inverse and the opposite. And I'm here to tell you that you guys absolutely have that control. You just need to reshift your mindset, just move yourself up on the priority list and you'll make this happen. That's exactly what Steve did. And if you're looking to do the exact same thing, and you want me to customize a program for you so you can see some incredible results just like this, then I highly recommend for you to click the link on the top of the video description or the very bottom of the video description to speak with me directly. Or you can follow me on Instagram at it's Bobby O'Brien right there in the middle of the video description in case you'd like to see more short form content like this, or if you'd like to message me on there with any questions. So yeah, this is just some more of some stuff that Steve was saying. So literally in the first nine to 10 days, he lost 14 pounds. So that's why he decided to weigh himself four times. Pretty crazy, right? So last thing that you guys need for sure is accountability and structure, right? And it's pretty hard to apply yourselves, but when you don't have any sort of accountability, you have no sense of structure, it's really difficult to actually make this work, right? So even if you have the most well dialed in workout regimen, perfect diet, right? Or you at least know what those two things should look like if you don't have the accountability or the discipline or the structured plan that's set out in front of you to make it work and to apply it, then it's completely futile and useless to even have that information in your head anyway. That's kind of the problem with just focusing on watching YouTube videos, just binge watching content all day and watching Andrew Huberman podcasts, not saying I'm not a fan of Andrew Huberman, I love him, but if we don't take any action based on what we're actually listening to, then what we're listening to is not worth listening to at the end of the day, right? If we're not actually gonna utilize it. And the best way to utilize it quite honestly is to pay somebody, right? If you've been struggling for years and years and years and years and years, and you've been in the exact same situation working long hours behind the computer 
as a guy that works in IT and you have some belly fat that you have not been able to get rid of no matter what, and you don't have the accountability or the discipline or the structure to apply a plan that works for you, even though you know exactly what you should be doing, then you're not paying attention enough. You're not holding yourself accountable, right? You don't have a fire that's under you right now, a line that's chasing you to really make a change. You're getting kind of complacent. In order to leave that state of complacency, you need to pay somebody to actually help you to get you out of where you're at right now. Because when you pay, you pay attention. And right now, you guys are paying attention to the wrong stuff. And a lot of you guys that are probably going to say like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's telling me to pay for things. Well, think about the things that you pay for on a monthly basis. There's a lot of things that you guys pay for that are completely worthless. If you really run down your financial situation, you look at how much money you actually spend each month on eating out, vacations, trips, miscellaneous crap. Maybe you guys bought a dog recently that was three to five thousand dollars. I mean, a dog. I mean, dogs are great. They're nice. You know, they're very nice animals. They're super, super sweet. I love my dog. I have a dog named Henry, and I think he's great. But the fact that you guys will not give your wife, your kids, or whoever it is that asks for a dog any sort of lip at all whatsoever for buying that dog, right? Or you just go ahead and you buy the dog without even thinking about it. But when it comes to investing 30 to 40 bucks a month into a gym membership, then that's when you guys throw your hands up and you say, you know what, this is way too expensive or oh, I don't want to do this. You really got to be honest with yourself because a lot of you guys know that you have done that exact same thing, maybe not with the same dog example, but you've spent 10 times more on something that was completely worthless, maybe not completely worthless, but was not an investment in your health. And then you had the opportunity to invest in your health and get yourself out of the bad situation that you're currently in right now watching this video. And you chose not to do it even though it wasn't nearly as expensive. And of course my program is an investment, but I can't tell you how many guys I've talked to personally that have been in that exact situation, did not want to invest in the program when they had the ability to invest and they would have been investing into things that have not been benefiting them for years and years and years. And they've been struggling for that long as well. And <laughs> the most ridiculous part is that there's a lot of pain that you guys have when it comes to having stubborn belly fat that you don't know how to get rid of, that you want to get rid of. You want a flat stomach. You're tired of taking your shirt off in public. You know that there's some serious health implications that come with you having this visceral fat and this stubborn belly fat and with body fat all around you that you don't know how to get rid of, yet you don't want to pay a mentor or fast track that progress. You'd rather stay where you are longer, even with all the pain that's associated with the problem that you've been dealing with for years that you could have just got rid gotten rid of with knowledge and expertise and accountability and structure with a program like mine in just a matter of months. I mean, just look at Steve and look at Dion again, the, the two guys that we just went over. So if you want to draw a line in the sand and make a change today and not be that guy, I highly recommend for you to once again, click the link on the top of the video description, the bottom of the video description to speak with me directly to see if I can help you do just that, get a flat stomach and lose weight sustainably, gain muscle and optimize your health so you can get back to where you used to be. You can take your shirt off in public, even if it means investing yourself to get to where you want to go faster. But other than that, that's where I just wanted to leave it off with. But you guys know that all of this means nothing if you're not able to hold yourselves accountable. And hiring a coach to do that, not a big deal, right? So leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at it's Bobby O'Brien. The link to that will be in the middle of the video description. If you want to speak with me directly there, ask me some questions. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.